playing with your Christmas presents for three days after Christmas is so much fun. Jackson and his cousins are putting together his five foot puzzle. You guys are such good helpers. Look how big the pieces are. So fun. Tommy's over there playing and talking. Can you find out where it goes? Oh, there is no zero. Maybe right zero. here where there's none, we can pretend. Zero. Zero. Two. No, that's Baby's on board. Baby's on board to go to space. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Blast <laughs> So apparently we're working on Griffith's cookbook part two. What do we got going on here? We are making ice cream cones for the day. Oh, Olivia, fun. what are you making? Ice cream cones and I'm making cookies. Nice. This is not the cutest. I saw this forever ago and I thought of Olivia. <laughs> I was like, I need to do this with her sometime. So what did you guys do between Christmas and New Year's? We're literally just hanging out and playing and it feels so good just to do what Mm -hmm. Just to do whatever. Yeah. So we're making this. Good. And Calvin wanted to make the ice cream cone, so I told him that I'd help him. Perfect. He's just like sitting here watching. Yeah, he's having a good time. You help me sew. While Ellie does that, I'm gonna do something. Uh, what, how would you describe this? Not so fun. Not so fun. You may have remembered us talking about hearing some scratching, some movement in the attic, some lights flickering here and there. Well, I think it's time we finally investigate because. It's getting worse by the day, and we need to do something before something terrible happens up there. And and honestly, guys, I'm not doing this for video sake. This is actually happening. We go into the laundry room, we turn on the lights, and they start flickering like crazy. I was in the bathroom. Of course, they don't flicker when I show you the example, but you've seen them in the video. I was in the bathroom yesterday, and I could have sworn someone was on the other side of the wall, like in the other bathroom, scratching on it. I went up to look, no one was there. It was freaky. So Joel and I are gonna get our GoPros on, we're gonna get our headlamps, our flashlights, and we're gonna go up in the attic and see what we can find. Because I really think, Calvin, someone or something is living in our attic. Okay, Joel. You gonna help me with this? I'm ready. Let's mount up. Regulators, mount up. Regulators, mount up. We've got everything we need. We've got our GoPros, we've got our lights, we've got our gloves. And uh, this is a Christmas present for my brother Nate. I hope we don't have to use this, but... What are you planning to do with me up there? Regulators! <laughs> Regulators! Moderate! No. Mount up! Mount up! <laughs> Moderate! <laughs> I'm a little nervous, okay? I don't know what's up there. It could be a raccoon, it could be a cat, it could be a dog, it could be a fish, it could be someone who's living up there. Could be a fish. Oh, yeah. sleeping up there! Or sleeping up there. I mean, for Pete's sake, Joel, there was an owl in our garage last week. What if it's owl from 100 Acre Woods? I would want him to stay up there. Then we could meet Winnie the Pooh. Ooh. You ready? Ready. Now, 
something was over here, right? That light's over here. Yeah. But I mean, like, I don't see any sign of stirring. <gasps> Maybe like right there, though. Look down there. Oh. These are feet print, Jared. <gasps> well, it's not somebody's up yeah, here. Like, so, like a worker, not a human, not someone. It's like mostly on that side where we heard everything. I mean, I don't see any signs of anything. Oh, yeah. Looks like untouched snow, you know? Man, then what is it? I wonder if you're just getting settling noises. No, it's like. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything up in the peaks or nothing either, like a nest kind of style. Or... So this is coming down. That goes into over your bedroom area. Yeah. And that's that's the place I heard it. See anything in there? Just tons of spiders. Really? Tons of spiders and box elder bugs coming in through this little uh, vent over here. Gross. Yeah, I think we'll just have to listen for more stuff. Yeah. Your lights that are really bumpy and stuff uh -huh. in that laundry room. Yeah, no, nothing was touched. Nothing there. touched over there. That's completely I mean, untouched. So as an electrician, is there like another place that could happen? Where it would be um, faulty? If he's biting through a wire maybe, but I mean, maybe if he's small enough, he could be tunneling under yeah. and we not see it. You know what I mean? Then you're messing with insulation and... And then at that point, by the time you move something to try and check, you're not going to see like a clean line. I feel like a kid in a jungle gym. I know, right? That's slightly a scary jungle gym. Yeah, you look comfy. It's cozy. Climb on up. We don't have to tell the girls about this spot. This will yeah. just be our little spot. It'll be our clubhouse. We'll just tell them we're going looking for the animal again. Pretty sweet. That's nice. Yeah, so on the other side of this, it looks like a window. And they just put paper. So it looks like there's the room's off. It's just plywood. You know? So instead of it being like the lights are on, but nobody's home. It's the lights are off, but somebody is home. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay, mm. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna go back up to the top and just kind of verify. You're right, though. I do feel like I'm in a jungle gym. Oh yeah. It's really stirred around over here. That does not look like footsteps either, Joel. Look at all that. That is so stirred up. Yeah. Right here and here. Yeah. All through here, something's been up here. Like, I mean, that's like flat. You can totally see. Yeah. That is just, looks like a first snow. snow. Yeah. And this is just thrashed. And it's it's not even just the floor joists, like in the middle of them and down here. Like and that's stuff. not a human foot, because a human would go through that. Like an adult yeah. or a person would just go right through that sheetrock, but an animal could handle it on top of it and this is probably we're over the garage by now yeah i think we are over the garage right now and so we wouldn't hear how much going on over there yeah i mean look at that spot right there that is empty yeah yeah that's a big spot there i think they're coming in through over here though jared yeah this is where i was pointing to before right down in here uh-huh look at all this the one thing i'm not seeing is chew marks on anything yeah. But to me, I think I would see that. Well... But I don't know, you know? I don't know if we found anything, but... It sure looks like it's possible. I'm not ruling anything out, that's for sure. I mean, this is just so disrupted over here. Uh, uh, I can't tell if that's torn or tune. Oh my gosh. It looks... Like torn. Yeah, that doesn't look chewed to me. <laughs> this end does, but this end looks... I can't tell, yeah. That's big voltage over there. Where's that going to? What would be on the side of your house that that would be going to? I can't... I just figured it out. It's your Tesla stuff. Oh, yeah. And that's the route they took. That is. And what has bumped it and moved it off of the sheetrock... Is the cord itself. ...was the cord itself. Yeah. Because it's light enough, but it's malleable enough. Yeah, because that runs down through the wall, that big giant cord. But that doesn't account for the scratching, Joel. I, there's still weird stuff going on. I don't get it. I still don't get that. So we've accounted for the unsettlingness over here, but that's it. Well, let's call it a day. I'm still baffled, though. Ghost hunters, they don't ever really see ghosts, but they're still hunting them. Mm -hmm. We may never see a squirrel. We're still hunting. We're it. squirrel hunters. We're squirrel hunters. Like Inspector Carlson Lassiter. That's right. I still can't figure out why that bathroom. All I can figure is that bulb's possibly loose. Because that one that is rattling the most is next to the fan. Yeah. And I wonder if the vibrations of the fan have kind of made it kind of want to come out. Yeah. 
So while we've got the ladder, we should twist them. Twang, bang them back up, yeah. They're making popcorn down there. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah. I was totally hoping we'd find an animal. I was too. I'm I mean, a little disappointed. It's weird, man. It's weird, man. All right, I'm about to give a full report about what Joel and I saw in the attic today. Some things may frighten you. Some things may cause mystery. Some things are just plain fun. Yeah. It was like a jungle gym up there. We were having a really good I could time. Hear. What did it sound like while we were up there? I heard you guys stumbling around. Uh huh. But the other day, Joel was here and Bonnie was here, and we heard legit scratching right yeah. here. You guys and, heard that? And we said, you have yes, to go yes. up there because there was an owl in our garage. I just feel like there was something up there. So when we were up there, did it sound similar to that? No. So it was a lot smaller and it was scratchy. Yeah. It sounded okay. like a... But that's where the sound came from is yeah. where we were. So okay, we and that's that? creepy. So Joel and I went up there and we looked for a few certain things. Chew marks, rustling around in the insulation. We looked for trails and most importantly, we looked for poop, poop. Uh, excrement, um, yeah. species, uh, the, the fecal matter, fecal poops, <laughs> and other words for poop. Mm -hmm. What did we find, Joel? We did find a lot of rustling around. Yes. In the in the insulation. Yes, we did. We saw lots of places where there were things around. We didn't see any chew marks. We didn't see any poop. We didn't see anything that led us to believe there was an that there was something currently in there. We didn't see a trail. I thought for sure we'd see a like matted down trail. Yeah, and when we didn't see a trail, we thought, okay, maybe it's a squirrel using the rafters and the beams inside there to get around. That makes a lot still of sense to me. Yeah, it still is a possibility. That might be where the sound comes from. What sound? The scratching sound. <laughs> Thing. We don't know. That's the other thing. As we checked the light bulb, it was flickering, so we're like, maybe it's just loose, so we tightened it up, and that didn't do anything. Then we were looking at the wiring. There was nothing rustled around there. Yeah, I was looking for to see if the wire had been chewed or not or something, and nothing. There could be burrowing that we can't see. So what if the hole leads into here? So the animal could be in the house? We didn't see any, well, then again, the insulation, I don't know. I don't think the animal's in the house, because I think the animal would be too afraid to be running around here. What if it was in the house? Maybe scared. I think Penny would probably scare it off. Yeah. Or yeah. Calvin. I will hit them in the face. <laughs> I would throw one at the wall up there. Up yeah. Here. I would throw the hardest thing on earth at it. Whoa. Why, what if, why will a dog howl? Maybe that could have been why. Maybe that's a possibility. So last night our neighbor's dog was howling at five in the morning for hours, and then Penny would not go outside. So we don't know if there was an animal outside. It was kind of scary. So that's the status update. There has been scratching, that much is sure. We don't know what it is, where it's from, and we don't know if it's gonna happen again. <laughs> if we hear it again, we're gonna go right up there and see if we can find something. So, um, I kind of feel guilty doing this, but at the same time, I don't. So. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. Am I right, Ellie? I love that hashtag. <laughs> we don't usually do this. We never do this, really, but it is like two, three in the afternoon, and we're gonna call the vlog done. We Ooh. are gonna go ice skating with Bonnie and Joel and their family, and in fact, what we wanna do is, uh, they're gonna be filming this whole adventure. If you wanna check out their video of us ice skating, you can go, I'll have it linked down below if you haven't already seen it. Plus, um, that way you can see all of the other videos that we've done from their perspective over the past few days that we've been hanging out. This is the few days of the year where we literally are like, Veg out, veg out and just play. Everyone. They sleep over, it's super fun. It is so fun. Yeah. Okay, we are gonna go ice skating and that's gonna be it from us. Be sure to check out their videos. Hope you're having an awesome 2019 and we will see you guys next time. Have a great weekend, bye.